Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. Before we begin, let me tell you something. The only place where success comes before work is dictionary. Otherwise, you always need to work hard to gain success. This is my second lecture on real analysis and the topic is continuity and differentiability. In the first lecture, we have already discussed about limit and L hospital rule. In this video, we will discuss about graphical interpretation of continuous functions, continuous and discontinuous functions, differentiability of function, and we will solve some problems from different competitive exams. Let us begin. Graphical interpretation of continuous functions. A function is said to be continuous if you can draw its graph without lifting your pen from the paper. For example, take the graph of sin x. You can easily draw this graph without lifting your pen. Similarly, take the graph of y is equal to cos x or take the graph of y is equal to x or y is equal to minus x. You can see that all of these graphs can be drawn without lifting your pen from the paper. Then what do we mean by discontinuous function? A function is said to be discontinuous if you cannot draw its graph without lifting your pen from the paper. For example, step function. You cannot draw this graph without lifting your pen from the paper. Also, take the graph y is equal to x square minus 1 upon x minus 1. At x equals to 1, the function is not defined, so it has a discontinuity over there. Let us study with proper definition what do we mean by continuous and discontinuous functions. Continuous function. A function f is said to be continuous if for every value of c in its domain first fc is defined and second limit x tends to c fx is equal to f of c and discontinuous function a function is said to be discontinuous if any of the following cases occur first limit x tends to c minus fx and limit x tends to c plus fx exists but are not equal, that is left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal. Second, limit x tends to c minus fx and limit x tends to c plus fx exist and are equal but not equal to f of c. Third, fc is not defined. We saw this case in the example that is y is equal to x square minus 1 upon x minus 1. And fourth, at least one of the limit does not exist that is left hand limit or right hand limit does not exist. Differentiability of a function. A function fx is said to be differentiable at c if first f dash c is equals to limit x tends to c fx minus fc upon x minus c exists and second limit x tends to c fx minus fc upon x minus c exists means the left hand limit that is limit x tends to c minus fx minus fc upon x minus c and the right hand limit limit x tends to c plus fx minus fc upon x minus c both are equal. Also you need to note it down that every differentiable function is continuous. Let us solve a problem from CSIRnet and understand it more clearly. The question is if fx is equal to x square sin 1 upon x when x is not 0 and 0 if x is equal to 0 then the options are a fx is continuous at x equals to 0 b fx is differentiable at x equals to 0 c fx is not continuous at x equals to 0 and d none of the following. Let us solve the question. Before solving the question we need to study a result. The result is if fx is the product of two functions gx and hx where limit x tends to 0, gx is equal to 0 and hx is bounded then limit x tends to 0, fx is also equals to 0. 
we will use this result to solve the question. We know f is said to be continuous if and only if limit x tends to c fx is equals to f of c. Here fx is equals to x square into sin 1 upon x when x is not 0 where gx is equals to x square and hx is equals to sin 1 upon x. Clearly limit x tends to 0, gx is equals to 0 and we know that hx is equals to sin 1 upon x is a bounded between minus 1 and 1 as sin is a bounded function. Therefore, limit x tends to 0, fx is equals to 0 which is equals to f of 0. So f is continuous. Therefore, option A is true and so C and D are false. Now we check option B for differentiability. For f to be differentiable at x equals to 0, we have f dash 0 is equals to limit x tends to 0 fx minus f0 upon x minus 0 should exist. f dash 0 is equals to limit x tends to 0 x square sin 1 upon x minus 0 upon x minus 0 which is equals to limit x tends to 0 x square sin 1 upon x upon x which is equals to limit x tends to 0 x into sin 1 upon x which is equals to 0 as limit x tends to 0 x is equals to 0 and sin 1 upon x is again bounded. Therefore, we get that f is differentiable at x equals to 0. So, option b is also true. So, the correct answers are option a and option b. Here are some questions for you to try. First, if fx is equals to x cos 1 upon x when x is not equals to 0 and 0 if x is equals to 0, then fx is continuous at x equals to 0, fx is differentiable at x equals to 0, fx is not continuous at x equals to 0 and option D, none. And second, if fx is equals to x raised to n sin 1 upon x when x is not equals to 0 and 0 if x is equals to 0, then fx is continuous at x equals to 0, fx is differentiable at x equals to 0 fx is not continuous at x equals to 0 and option d none. Comment your answer below in the comment box with proper explanation. Get the best material for preparation over here by just one click. The link is given below in the description. Thank you and check out other videos in the series over here.